Hello everybody, Blue Dooley. Today we are in SnowRunner. We're checking out the Arni S100, which is the console version of the Berlay or Berlet uh, T100. A truck that when it came out was the largest truck ever made in, I want to say, 1957, 59, somewhere in there. The real truck only had one engine, a big 29 liter Cummins V12. But uh, I got a few mods loaded up. We're going to check out. You can see two of them sitting in the background there. The Kenny C500, which is the console version of the Kenworth C500. And an S10 mud truck back there. Over here we got the DLC uh, new Caterpillar truck. The new International truck. And then the uh, Twin Steer International truck from the... Uh, phase 3 release. I don't have phase 4 yet, but there have been some uh, improvements in the game that already dropped. So uh, let's fire this bad boy up and check it out. I'd imagine it would take that engine a little while to crank up in real life. The other thing I learned is uh, this particular truck in real life had a flat six cylinder for a uh, power steering. They didn't actually run the truck's power steering off the main engine. You got it hooked up to the coil trailer. So uh, let's run her through some mud. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. I didn't get too much work done on anything as uh, it's been really hot and I need parts. Plus I had to fix the lawnmower so that took me the better part of today. Of course, barely, barely even noticed the mud there. Yep, bogged down a little. I haven't upgraded this too much. I just put the saddle high on it and the repair points. So this is running the stock engine. But the stock engine will still spin them. We haven't even gotten the trailer into the mud yet. Now it's bogged down a little. Still just kind of chugging right along. Give her a little help. This thing does have a humongous turning radius and uh, Steering's a bit slow, so you need to start your turn early and uh, start correcting it quicker too. I think this is going to be too big to uh, drive up any of these. We'll give it a flex test. <laughs> so let's go over here to the Kenny. This one I did upgrade. Uh, put the taller suspend ultimate suspension on it. Not sure why everything's so dark on it, even with the sun up. But uh, I really like these rollback beds. That's a interesting place for that animation. <laughs> you can put a sleeper cab on it, uh, pretty much any of the stock in-game functions. I just really happen to like the roll-off beds. They make hauling trucks and picking up 
vehicles to move them around a heck of a lot easier than try to get them on a trailer or pick them up with a crane. Not exactly quick hydraulics, but yeah, I suppose they don't have to be too terribly fast. It sounds really good. I did not put the biggest motor in it. All wheel drive and diff lock are always on. I kind of figured it wouldn't be it hardly bogged down at all in these. C500 is a pretty badass truck in real life. Kind of surprised it isn't in the base game. As it makes more sense to have this kind of a truck in the game than, uh, well, any of the highway trucks. Yeah, let's just go through the course backwards. Not too bad for a truck that shouldn't be in this kind of terrain. <laughs> Trust me, as expensive as these trucks are, uh, they're probably a little more careful with them than we are in the game. The mutt truck is uh, pretty much the only thing you can do to it is change tires. You can have narrows or wider ones. Uh, the suspension, motor, paint, all that stuff is, you just get what you get. It is a cool looking little truck. <coughs> we'll get, we'll jump in it here in a minute. I just want to do some more uh, rock crawling with, rock crawling with the Kenworth. Oh, Kenny. Being in the RC hobby, I understand that you know companies got to pay for licensing to use products in uh, you know to make bodies or anything like that. I don't understand why the PC version of games can have you know the proper name on a modded vehicle, but the consoles can't. It's kind of like PC people aren't paying for the license, so what does it matter? I'm sure there's probably some weird legal loophole that PC mods, because they're free and don't require any special uh, programming from the game manufacturing to use, because it's all third party, they can probably get away with it, whereas the consoles have to be, uh, ooh, don't tip over. The games on the consoles have to be set up to run mods. Air brake sounds are really nice. I think they're actually better on this truck than they are in the base game trucks. Let's unpack. Bit of fuel slosh. Right. Let's change truck. Catch air mega rig.
Ooh, it's really sparse. That supercharger wine and lope though. That doesn't even sound like the same engine. Hmm. Yeah, that engine sounds a little weird. It does jump good if you can keep it going straight. We've already used six gallons of fuel. Which a big supercharged race engine would use a lot of fuel. Come on, go straight. International HX520 is the new DLC truck you can get. It's free and that Caterpillar are free. And I have this crane mod installed for stronger cranes and it's definitely a mod I recommend. Because it makes picking things up so much easier. Of course, the armor's pretty heavy, but... The normal, the uh, full-size cranes We'll pick a Hummer up no problem. And it just makes loading so much easier. Well, that's interesting. I packed the truck on top of the cargo. Hmm, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I got the biggest engine off-road gearbox in this truck. This truck and the Caterpillar do not have uh, raised suspension. That's all right. You can get locking diffs and all-wheel drive. So I loaded them both down with uh, concrete and bricks. This one now has a Hummer on it. <laughs> Which again, I didn't know you could do. Well, I guess we'll uh, see how fast she pulls. Inside of the International looks pretty nice. I think we uh, already hit top speed. But that is uh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know you could put a Hummer 
where you could pack a truck on top of the cargo. That might be a glitch. Apparently that much weight, she's not really liking. And we're still doing the same speed. <laughs> A little lower RPM. Yeah, maybe I didn't have the biggest engine in it. As I mentioned, both of these trucks only have stock and all the frame on downs you could probably want. Well, there's seventh. <coughs> Excuse me. And we got her into eighth. All right, we're going to do the towing test with the twin steer and two hummers. Let's see how she does. Highway gearbox. Six gear, we're still pulling. There's 30. Running out of runway. Well, it hit eighth, but uh, didn't get much above uh, 30. Now I had to take the service body off because you can't use the service body with a wide trailer. You have to use the narrow goosenecks uh, pretty much only if you want to run the service body on it. But uh, that setup does kind of make it a good rescue truck. Unfortunately you can't put saddle high on it. Okay, had to put some smaller tires and suspension on the Kenny C500, and I also put in the Extreme engine, just to do this fun little tow test. I also put the sleeper on the truck, just for fun. It is a really well modeled truck. I think I forgot to put the highway box in it though. And of course we don't know how fast we're going. But I would say we're easily going twice as fast as the other trucks.
not do. We lost a Hummer. <laughs> well i think that's going to do it for today's video as always click like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and i will catch you in the next video later